Hey everybody, it's Kelly and welcome to day 27 and you can probably hear this in my voice but I either have caught a cold or I'm having a really bad sinus thing. I'm starting to think it's a cold. Um, I live in Wisconsin as some of you may know but I the weather here is awful today. It's um, really damp and it's been raining all day and it's cold and that will often spark sinus stuff for me but anyway I don't quite know probably won't know for a day or so what it actually is but I'm hoping I'm not getting sick because I have grandchildren to babysit on Saturday but anyway so welcome to day 27 again <clears throat> this is day number 26 where I documented my presence for my clients and today here's my photo for day number 27 I don't have one so um, my best friend's father just passed away right before Christmas and he lived in a city that was fairly far away from where we live and she for about the last two months has been basically living with him nursing him as he went through some final stages of an illness and tonight was the first time that I have seen her in two months, really literally. We've been talking on the phone and texting a lot, but we haven't seen each other. And tonight we got together um, and met at a wine bar and just talked and just had a really good time. And it wasn't the kind of night where you take selfies or you... Um, I don't... or you even take a representation like a photograph of your food or the wine that we had it just wasn't that kind of a night on my way home because I have about a half an hour drive to get home I thought about going to the website and pulling a picture of like the restaurant or the sign from the restaurant off the website and decided you know what no this will be a good lesson for all of us and how do you document a memory that's important to you in this season without a photograph so I'm going to do something even crazier. I was thinking that I was working on the back side of this, but actually this is the back side. So I was thinking I had a four by six and two three by four pockets, but I don't. I can do whatever I want. So as I was going home, I remembered that I had this, and this is a three by four card. It's a wood veneer card. This is from last year's Christmas from L Studio with the heart in it. And then there are also the cut there was also a star cutout um, a card like that with a star cutout so there's the inside of it and then I have the inside of the heart so I'm thinking that I can somehow use those two pieces the other thing speaking of peace is that my friend and I had a lot of conversations about being at peace with things and I have these two wood veneers both of them are from recollections I believe and they say the word peace so I'm thinking maybe I want to work those in as well because that was a big topic of conversation so when you have a memory and you can do this on your 12 by 12 layouts before I definitely have done this without some sort of picture you find something to represent that memory which all of this right here does okay so now I have this day without any um, photographs so you think okay I'm going to use something with minimal pockets in it right nope I'm going to use one of the four three by four pockets hard to see this but that's what it is because I know that this is going to take up one of it one of them and I just I was actually going to pull this when I saw the big one of this and then saw the little one and somewhere in here I'll probably do those pockets as well I think I even talked about the last time that um, I have a lot of the three by four cards with small spaces like this um, so it's more really of a filler card and I can use that and just looking at this right now I have this great card here three by four card that says thankful for this moment and I'm going to use that today um, because I think it would be really cool the other thing is I look at this I have this card too which would be a nice card to use I'm not quite quite sure why I've got this sort of arrangement going but it is what it is right I think this is heavier because it's a solid 
wood block here. Um, yeah, I think I like this better or this. I could use um, both of those if I decide I want to, or I could use just this. I could use this on here, find something else. So I'm going to keep looking through the 3 by 4 cards. As I know I have my journaling card already, you know, is there something that talks about importance or memories, um, that kind of thing. I think it would be nice. I like this because it has a lot of the colors in it. So I think that's kind of cool. And there's the Making Spirits Bright. I don't love it because it doesn't, it has the um, cream color and this is very white. <clears throat> Um, let's see, Mary. There's the Full of Magic card, which I, it was, but it wasn't. Um, and I think that that's not necessarily right for this. Let's see. I do love this time of year, but that's not the right card either. I also, just keeping in the back of my mind, that we could, I could use, um, I could use um, some pattern paper in there as well. There is this card that says warm and cozy. And um, it definitely was. I don't love that though because of the gray in here. So I think that's maybe not the spot to use that. Just kind of going through. Um, there's that card there. So kind of playing with these a little bit. Not loving that. I'm thinking, as I'm thinking about this, I think what I would like to do is find a pattern paper that works with these. Um, whether it be a six by six or something else, because then I can pop one of these pieces on there. I could put the piece down here actually, and maybe the heart up there. Um, I kind of like that idea now that I'm looking at it. So let's look at that and see what I think. Um, I'm also, I just pulled, as I was pulling the paper out, I have that. So I could do something with that. Now, the other thing I can do is do some sort of um, see-through element here and that might be a great place to put something like that transparency kind of like the idea of that actually i also have this transparency which is more christmas like but i think the stripes of this fight the stripes of that so that might not be the right piece. Um, I have this that I could mix in. I pulled this because there's some sentiments here. Um, this one says, all my heart is right here. I think that would be a cool sentiment to get on here somewhere. So if I found the right piece of pattern paper, even this vellum, you know, I could pop that on, you know, punch that out and sort of pop that on there. I just want to quick take a look through to my papers that I have left here. Um, I'm not such a fan, and I'm also, of course, looking at the colors here. I'm not such a fan of mixing stars and um, hearts. You can, there's no reason, but that's just me. So, uh, although I like that, and then that might go like this because the dark weight of this Hmm. Kind of like that, <clears throat> even though I said I wasn't a fan of that. <laughs> Isn't that fun how sometimes life laughs at you when you make those pronouncements? I also do kind of like just that color so I get all the colors in. And I think that feels right to me. So I think that's the piece I'm going to use. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else else in here that says I need to use that. So let's do that. 
Um, now the question, oh, although I do have this still. And I can leave this plain just like it is, although you see this, I'd see this back on the back side. Or the question is, do I put some sort of like pattern in there and then use that three by four? You know, I haven't used a lot of three by fours. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this into a three by four to play with that a little bit. And I'll just take a minute to do that. I'm trying to get it so I have a little bit more um, kind of space. Okay, so here's the three by four. I like the idea of that. I'm also going to go grab my circle punch, so I'll be right back. Sorry about the dead air, guys. That was exciting. Sorry. Normally I'd be yelling to you, but there's not a lot of yell in my voice tonight. So let's punch this piece out. And this is the L Studio. It's just the, um, from the December documented kit. This is my inch and a quarter punch from EK Success. So I can do that there. And the question is, do I leave these elements see-through? I think the answer is yes, as I'm looking at this. I kind of like that. And what I can do um, is tomorrow, depending on what I think, I can always come back and put, you know, punch that paper. There's lots of things here, different sentiments that I could use. Punch the paper and put a circle on the other side. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I obviously still need my number. And that's going to be my plan. So I'm just going to pop this on here and it will have um, something on the back tomorrow. I like that because I really haven't used a lot of vellum or transparencies or a lot of see-through elements in this book and I think that's kind of nice. So let's get this. Uh, let's see. Do we put this on the outside or the inside? Let's see. I really like it better on the inside. I'm going to risk this card falling out. So there's the piece. And then what I think I'll do here is I think this is where my number will go. It's not going to be, I think, a ton of embellishing today, which is okay. I probably need to get into my pajamas and relax, right? Okay, so, oh, I'm loving the way this is looking. It's really simple, but I really love it. Uh, let's get... This is day number 27. So I can either use red or green, and I'm thinking I'm going to use red. And I'm just going to put it here. And I'm gonna grab my Cutter B tweezers to straighten this out just a little bit. I'm never satisfied when I just do it, so I don't know why I don't do it like that. Um, the other thing I could do if I wanted to is I could um, put maybe a little bit of washi. Let me grab my red washi here. And say, I knew I had a thinner one. Actually, it kind of makes sense if I do it this way, right? Because it's been ripped. I'm going to try to get it close to the 27. Oops. I don't know what I'll do tomorrow. You know, maybe I will put something behind that heart and maybe I'll just leave it as it is. 
And I kind of like that, so I think that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to take my scissors, and just because I don't know what I'm going to do with the back side, I definitely don't want to wrap it. Look at that, guys. Simple, but I really like it. I like the simplicity. Um, the question is, do I want to embellish this? And I think um, maybe with a heart. So this is kind of a Christmas... Um, layout, but also sort of a, you know, it's, it's not exactly Christmas focused. So let's look at my hearts again. This is from last year, the, from L Studio, the puppy heart stickers here. And I'm thinking I just want to put like a little heart up there. That's good. It's been a, a longish day today because I work today, but isn't this, I mean, look at how quick this went together, guys. It was pretty quick. Um, and that's how you document, document a memory without a photograph because really the importance here is in the journaling. And that's what I'll do is I'm going to take some time now to journal. Hope you guys are all well. And I'm thinking, and I'm just thinking now, do I want some enamel dots? Okay. Almost signed off, guys. Not quite. Just gonna grab my enamel dots in some of the colors. I'm thinking, yeah, I, I think I want some enamel dots on here yet. So I'm gonna pull these back out just as I think I'm done, but that's okay. It's a pretty quick. It's a pretty quick layout, but I want a little bit more dimension than just the wood and the. Uh, puffy hearts here. So I'm thinking it would be good if we could get some like greens in here. And I want to, I'm gonna, I didn't get this centered very well. Of course I didn't. I think that big one is too big. And I do have another. These are from last year from Cartabella's A Very Merry Christmas. And I think I want one the same size. Although this piece could maybe stand a bigger one. It feels like that's not quite big enough. So just a little bit of extra dimension here. And this one I think I just needed to, even though I don't have two anywhere else. I mean, I could. Hang on a second. I'm thinking about doing definitely on this. And now I just, you know, I wasn't going to do anything. Okay, I'm going to change where this goes and how I'm doing this because... Um, you can see that from the back side and sometimes that's okay to see those you know and I'm okay with that and I do it and it's fine but I think on this one I don't like it so much so I'm going to keep that all on the transparency because then then that other trans the other dike the punched circle will cover that and I think that's good now I have this tiny one left and I think that Maybe we need another medium one. Yeah. So that these two have one up here. This one, these two have some down here. Now I like it. Just a little bit of extra dimension. Not a lot of extra fuss. That card I need to journal on. I have my date on it and it's correct. I haven't done that in a while. So let's hope I keep that up. We're getting close to the end. Some of you are already done, um, but I think I've said this before. My Christmas is actually on New Year's Day. And then I kind of have a plan because I have I have a plan for, I don't know if you remember, but I had that extra um, page protector, and I have a plan for that page protector now. 
when I was thinking something was something else. Um, I know what I'm going to do. So I think you'll you'll probably get a bonus video. Um, I hope you guys won't yell too loudly that you get an extra video. So I think that's what's going to happen. Not tonight, though. So, all right, guys. So that is how you document a memory without a photo. I'm going to do the journaling about that tonight because I think it, it's pretty important. And then um, I will be back and I will see you again tomorrow. Hope you guys are all well. Bye.